Hello everyone and welcome to our playthrough of a s small indie game called Magic Wand that a friend recommended me because we were on a discussion about quirky RPG type games that were on Steam and the big Steam sales on right now so I'm like, yeah sure, I'd like to play a quirky charming little RPG game that's a short experience for, for a little playthrough. And this already is really charming. I love the music. Honestly, I've been on this menu screen not recording for a while because I'm like, yeah, this music is my jam. And I I don't know too much about the background of the developer or anything. I was just recommended and I'm like, yeah, sure, I'll, I'll record it, why not? And uh, so here we are, playing Magic Wand, which is apparently an RPG of some sort. But let's go. That's so... that's so cool. I have absolutely no idea. Radigan. Once more lost amid the barren plains, this noble spirit spent upon an amiable substan substance? Good Radigan searches for his friends. Okay. Uh, how do I control the game? Okay. Um... I don't understand the character sprite. Is the blue thing his beard? And is he wearing a hat? I I don't know. That's a Is he wearing a poncho? Are those snakes? Or green poops? I don't know, but the uh Oh I can change Oh that's cool. Uh Yeah, the isometric art style is really nice. It's not something I've seen before. I mean, there are a couple of things that were released with this style or perspective. And uh, the first thing I think of is the Tactics games. Any of the Tactics games, really. Final Fantasy Tactics, and then all the derivatives. Quote unquote derivatives of it. Tactics Ogre. They all have this cool, isometric look. But I've never known a game to let you spin around the, the landscape. It's a weird dude named Radigat. And we're searching for our friends. And I still don't know if these are poops or not. What? I can pull out my sword. And slash at the poops. Okay. I'm gonna press all the buttons and... What did I press to open this? Yeah, I'll save. Oh, controls. Controls. My god. This menuing. Jump. Talk or attack. Move camera. Okay. No, I like this one. Uh, okay. What is this? A soda? What does this mean? I'm gonna say, though. HP 90 out of 90, and I have $3.93. What is the sprite? Wait, what? Capsules. What does that mean? Uh, okay. I used it. I probably shouldn't have, to be honest. But okay, I, I assume it would have healed me. Oh, uh, let's go on our adventure. Is there anything else here? No? Whoa. What are these blue things at the top of the these the Beastas? What are- are those two people fighting? I have no idea- why is there a person flat on the ground? Can I talk to them? I can! No, I don't want to attack them. Of course, mind bodily form is perished. Please take the silver rod to Prince Fabrizio. Radigat, my coat has no po has no pockets. What? So he died, and I'm supposed to- he wanted me to take a silver rod to Prince Fabrizio, but my character clearly cannot, because my coat has no pockets. I'm sorry. Okay. But can I get up there? What are those things, though? I have no idea. This is a very surreal experience. 
What is this thing? There's just this weird level of indiscernibility. Like, what is this? What it looks like to me is like a fly person with a knife. It's going back and forth, but I have no idea. Well, well, crow? Welcome to yet big, big city. I thought that was an enemy, I'm not gonna lie. I pulled out my sword. That's an enemy, for surely. A, a blobby thing. The blobby thing has been defeated. This is a big city? There's like a house. And bricks on the floor. And there's a hotel. Fair enough. Can I... What is this? Bush Ranger. Pots and pans by trade I eat. You have a pot? Give it to me. I don't have any pots. Was this guy in the middle of building his house? Or storefront? And he's just like, nah. I'm just gonna set this pot. Or set up my shop right here. There's no need to build the rest of it. Okay. I wanted to go to the skull thing. Is it just a skull on the ground? Can I interact? Nope. Let's go to the hotel. Um... What? Are there- are these ca uh, cars? I think I'm just gonna be confused this entire game by the... ...vagueness of everything. <laughs> Wait, wait, I'm gonna go outside. Okay, outside. This is the front desk. Barkeep. Never mind, it's a barkeep. That's a lot of information I gathered from that barkeep. RRCC. They say Big Doug is in town. CRCC. They say he's fierce. Both of them go gulp. Is this a piano? I can't- are those tables? And cups? Why are there green things? What are the green things? Are they bottles with a, a glass beside them? It's a pot. Can I take the pot? No. Music is really jamming. I- I- I will give them that. See, that's a table. I think. Oh, this is, uh, this reminds me a lot of Push It, that old game where you have to push boxes into specific areas. Mysterious Moose, I would, I can kind of see that that's a moose now, think, Mo, though, no, it's not even a moose, I misread that, it's a Mysterious Moose. I'm not the only Moose you'll meet along your way, what is a Moose? That's a cat, right? Okay, good, <laughs> I could discern that that was indeed a cat. Yawn. Moogie Moogie 84. The most excellent vintage. Smash. Yawn. This is a very bizarre experience. But I sort of love really bizarre, almost nonsensical games that just, you know, they don't really need to mean anything. They just give me an interesting experience with a unique style to it. Like, I'd say this looks pretty dang unique with how indiscernible everything is, but the music is good, and the way that you walk around and interact, and like, the basic structure is cool. There is apparently a garden in this hotel that is not visible from anywhere else. This looks like a wizard. Perfis... Perfisol? Humph, this is all a bit old-fashioned for me. Oh, Percival. That also looks like a yellow wizard. Clyde, Radigat, look, we're summoning the dead. You... you have fun with that. Shade, okay, that makes... his, his name actually makes sense. Or her name. Um, I only know what has been or will be, but Hamperdan is at the train... trainee station, I think. 
Bradiget. Ah, everything's going well for me today. What? Fake ghost. Type of fungus that imitates a ghost for kicks. Fake ghost is immoral and eats birds? That's a, a capsule. What, wait, 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 can I just keep... Dang it, I think a I... Ghost. Ghost of a person lost in time. When they wake up, they feel strange. I, I picked up another one, though. I'm using my money! I knew it! So I picked up ghost, fake ghost, and blue ball, or ball ball. A ball who loves to jump over walls. There is no limit to its evil psychic power. Okay. I used up my money, though. How do I get more money? I want to collect all the capsules. Man, this is like weirdly nostalgic. And I don't know why particularly. Maybe it's just the- Oh, fake ghost! I mean ghost- No, that's ghost ghost. That's like actual- Oh, I took damage! Ghost has been taken care of. Let us move on to the next area. Wow. We're real zoomed out. That's the town we- Oh, that's the, like multiple towns and areas we can interact with? Very cool. I'm totally down for this. This is great. No, I don't want to- Wait, did I just go back to the same place? It's a lot more fake go or ghost- No, it's not where I want to be. I don't want to return. Or was that where I came from? Mmm, that's not where I want to be. Let's go to this place over here. Hello? Pom Pom, help! My flannel came alive and attacked me. That's not good. Flannel's not allowed to do that. If it shouldn't. It's rude. Fennel. That's not flannel. How do I get up here to talk to this eye being? That's a cat? Like a Cyclopean cat. Wise cat. Flannel moving west. Oh my goodness. Hello? There's another black cat. Oh my... Let me jump up! Oh, this is... This is like tumbleweed. Rad again. My watchful friend. If you will notice, I am armed. Black cat. They're letting all the sorts into the desert these days. Can I go into this? No, it's somebody I can talk to. Spider Crag, don't tread on me. Fair enough, Spider Crag. It was rude of me to do so. How do I how do I get up here? I wanna to talk to this other spider crag. I don't know. Regardless, let us push on. Why do I hear a UFO sound? Okay. Oh! Ow! Ow! Hmm... Those look like onions. Or turnips, rather. Turnip, turnip. Turnip, turnip. Turnip, turnip. Turnip, turnip. Fair enough, sentient turnips. Entity, I... Yum abstract yfimer. Very enlightening. As is with every conversation I've had with characters in this game. I cannot go to the top and interact with two penguins beating each other up. As far as I can tell. Or something. I have no idea. I'm, I'm moving on. See you, turnips. Ooh. Oh, ow! Ow! Get off me! I'm... So I went here, and here, here, and here, so... Uh... I really like how the clouds cast a shadow. No! Leave me alone! Leave me alone! Stop it. I don't know what you are, but leave me alone. 
Uh, flannel goes to the west, though. Wait, west is that way. I don't even know if that's a quest, but let's just keep going. Hello. Skulldug. Bah. Only flowers. Okay. What are you? Coin purse. Oh, sire. I'm just an innocent coin purse. Spare me. Spare me. Wait, can I attack you? And get your money? Oh, ho, ho. I'm sorry, but I'm also not that sorry. And now this... Is this going to be stuck over the interface now? Because I killed him? Okay, good. I kind of feel a little bad, but I'm like, coin purse, huh? I can get money out of that. I want to go buy more capsules. <laughs> get more information. Hello, ghosts. Let us, let us go into the hotel and buy some stuff from upstairs. I can buy two capsules. Wow, I'm ruthless. I really shouldn't have killed that coin purse. But I wanted to see if I could. Orb, orb. She spends her lifetimes looking for the orbs. In dreams, she squats on them like eggs. Nice. Radigan. A dreamy errant nighty who wanders up and down the plains. I don't understand his sprite whatsoever. It is even more confusing than it was before. What is this? I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. He does look like a red mage, though. Because he's got the whole outfit and the cool hat. But who knows? All right, let's go to the far east. Got gotcha you this time. I'm not letting you attack me. That's a big old mountain. Dang. Is that a piglet or a Kirby thing? I can't. I don't know. Uh oh. Stop it, evil tumbleweeds. I don't want I don't want to fight with you. But I will if you make me. What is going This is a big area. There's some scary tiki head men over there. I can't see from this perspective. Hello. Clam! Welcome, welcome to my home. Radigat, slippery footing, move with care. I mean, you're not wrong. I'm gonna have to somehow get all the way over there. With this very awkward perspective. Okay. Nope. This may take a bit of time. Oh boy. No, there's nowhere else I can go from this vantage point. Dang it. Yeah, let's try... Come on. Jump, jump up, right again. Oh boy. Talk about precarious. Ooh. I got it. I got it. Oh boy. Like, this is very interesting, using the perspective to help out with the platforming. It's just... Everything meshes together. <laughs> like, what is this giant... Is that like a windmill? I have no idea. L like, look how incomprehensible this is. It's like a giant blob. Most... Oh, me so they're mice with big ears. That makes more sense. Moe's 2. I am Moe's 2. I am too powerful to dwell in the world below. Goodbye. Thanks for the information, Moe's. Like, look how thin my character sprite is right now. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. I fell down. I didn't really want to fall down, but okay. 
Oh, that's a ghost. Okay, it has been vanquished. I wanted to talk to this thing. Or, oh, it's a plot. Man, these perspectives! Like, what is this? This must be very confusing to watch, to be honest, but, like, it's a ride. Okay, let's go to talk to the bird. What I assume is a bird. Never mind. I can't attack the bird either. I can attack the ghosts, though. Can I talk to you, goblin man? Lolo. No one can pull this enchanted sword forth from the earth because it is sticky. Are you sure? Uh, probably, because I can't really interact with things. It's a skull head. It's another enchanted sword. Why are there many enchanted swords with... Oh boy. That are stuck in the earth because they're sticky. Is the earth sticky? Are the swords coated in a, a sticky substance that stops them from being able to be pulled out? Oh boy. Nope, can't interact with the swords. Unfortunate. It's a big old octopus over there. Let's go, let's go over there. Yeah, this is this has got to be like you know, in an RPG, the uh, the flying ship is just crashed into the side of this mountain range or something. Oh, that's the best thing I could come up with. Yeah, like, look. There's the second mast of it. And then there's the top propellers to propel it forwards. And this is like, um, Ultros. Pirate. I owned a magic wand once, but then I lost it. Haha. <laughs> okay. I have to remember, this is still in the trappings of, like, a JRPG fantasy-style world. Ooh, what is that? No, no! Rock! Don't attack me to death! Wow, um... Which is the best perspective for this? Like, this? No, I have to constantly move the camera around to discern what am I doing. Is there anything underneath the ship? Oh, well, it doesn't seem... I will commend them, though, for creating something that looks like this. This, guy's, this is a guy that's, like, in a big mech suit, right? Apple Tech, like Magitech. What continent is this? Or what is, is this? Nice Magitech armor, man. Apple. Yeah, get him, big bro. All right. See ya. What is this? I have absolutely no idea what these things are. Let us keep going, though. I'm still on my way to find the friends, and I'm going to a train station? I think? It's a bit... I'm a bit unsure, but we will keep on going. More enchanted swords stuck in the ground, because they're sticky. What is this green? I didn't even know it was a person. Guidebook. Train station. Or train E station. It's where I need to go, too, so... This looks like a monolithic wall filled with the skulls of dead people. I don't know if this is a train station, man. Note. Big Doug's death... death port. No suckers. Radigat. Rude. Very. But I was like, yeah, this does not look like a train station. The fact that it's a death fort makes a lot more sense. I will, however, enter the death fort of Big Doug. Pots. I will break the pots. Give me the money within said pots. I got a dollar. Or maybe 50 cents or something. Or 80 cents, I don't know. I got money, I'm gonna go buy a capsule. Is he gonna be mad that I broke all the pots? Probably. Skulldug, oh no, Big Doug's pot collection. Radigan, why did he leave them here? Question mark, question mark. 
What? Distant voice. Uh, exclamatory uh, word. I'd better vamoose. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna break the pots though. No, no, no! Yeah, you made a poor decision coming here. Has I don't know what he said, but I'm getting attacked, and I'm almost dead! Oh, goodness! Oh! I have to polish Big Doug's pots all day. I gotcha. I'm gonna break the pots. Skull Doug, I have to- okay. I want the money from it. Oh, I tech them both. I need healing, though. So, like, something bad. Skull Doug, looky at these pots. They are worth more, more than my life. I'm gonna break them, then. Break the pots! Give me the money! Woo! Oh no! They're attacking me! Oh! Ow! Ow! Skulldug, Ode to a Greasy Urine by Big Doug. Muse can now sing a song as sweet as urns that Big Doug loves to eat. May all the arts yet with ye thy hand be equal to the Savior's grand. Ah, their arts, 144 additional cantos. That's a lot of cantos, man. Big Doug seems to really enjoy his poetry. Look at this background, though. Oh no, no, no! You're not, you're not getting. Oh, you did get me, didn't you? No, no, no! What is this gigantic explosion? How do I? Did I heal? How do I heal? Did I level up or something? I don't know. I'm still cracking these pots, though. I want to break the pots. I want to be pot smasher. Yeah, give me money. I need to buy all those capsules. Get more information on the world. Yeah. Skull Doug, are you here to deliver more pots? No, I'm here to break them. Ha ha ha. Why is there a ghost? Radigate. Ah, cold wind? Hamnet. Oh, woo, woo, woo. Okay. I can buy nine now. I'm in a dungeon now. Count. I am the Count of Monte Big Doug. Nice to meet you, Count of Monte Big Doug. Count, there's no use, my lopey friend. No one can escape. Thou art doomed. Doomed! Radigate, there's a big hole in the wall over... over here. Nice. Good to know. Let us go. Egads, I was standing in that room for 40 years! Exclamation mark, exclamation mark. We're led. Ye skull bugs are sweet, but they pay in vases. Bindle. Ah! Rock candy? I don't know. Can I break it? Nope. Alright, Skull Dug. Ho ho! A fresh Dug! You'll dug well for yourself here. Listen, Big Dug wants more Dug on the sublevels. Get down here on the Duggle. Oh my goodness. This is so charming, though. <laughs> I know, <laughs> people probably think this is super nonsensical, but this is really well made. It's a frog, right? No, Sing Signy. Dig Dug Dig. Oh, more pots to smash. Heck yeah. That's a They wanna attack me? Nah. Skull Dug. Dug 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 Dug. Hey! It's rude to Eve's Dug. I mean, he's not wrong. I was interrupting him during his dugging. Shush! Who would leave us this stuff down here? I don't know, man. I don't know. But I'm gonna break all the pots, that's all I'm telling you. Sweet pots. Look at that. Way over there. But I wanna talk to everybody down here. Oh! Big old rock wants to crush me. Skulldug, in thy room we dig up pots. 
true. I found a house. What is this? Does it increase my health? It does. Okay, what are you, man? House. Hello, my friends. You are the living embodiment of a house. Or are a man named House. Or a creature named House. I, I, I really can't tell. Oh, we can break the grass. I did not know that. I'm learning new things all the time with this game. Let's go into this, like, alcove over here and see what's inside. Ooh! Oh my goodness! Skullbug. What cured piles of metal rocks? I don't know, man. That's a, a lot of... Who knows what. I'm just breaking these pots for coins. So don't mind me. That's a uh, flag on a fort. Yeah, more coins. These are Apple Mechs, or right? Is this a factory? Is this house? Salesforce. Everything must go. Hey, what about you, Skull? Skull Doug? Hello? You're you're on another level. I can't actually talk to you. Skull Doug. Hmm. Ye all looks good. Can I attack these? I want the pot. There we go. That's a handstand sticking out of the ground. What? More pots. Pots. Sweet. Okay. I think that's everything in this area. Let us return. Okay. Oh, more pots! Wait, did they respawn? Did the pots respawn? Uh-oh. I don't think they'll give me more coin, though, so... That's good. Big Doug... I mean, Big Doug's pot collection will respawn. But... Oh. Shouldn't be too bad. They do not contain anything. Distant voice. Oh, where is that rascal? Oh, I'll crush him. Listen, voice. Sir, you're stepping on my cape! That sure is a big... thing. A big Doug. That's, that's really all I can call that. I'm very into this music. I don't... Where... With sturdy pusher hook, I denoodle all my foes. None shall get my pots. Big Doug shall persevere. Listen, voice, please stop waving that thing around. Sturdy Pisher... Fisher Hook. I assume it's just Fisher Hook. Is this a boss battle? Aha! Ye Pots Vandal. Now thou'st in it for it, you rascal. Radigat, tis the big bully. On guard. Boss fight. Ow. 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 Okay, okay, I should not... Ooh, ooh. So he sends out like I don't need I have to not be near him when he he does that. Chouch! Big Doug was trip Doug. Big Doug, you're the only one surprised by that. I gotcha though. Now let us go. Oh my goodness. Skull Doug. What were you all doing here? Montebank. We're dugging! Okay. Pots, though. Yeah! Feels good. Hokey. Power Ray, check. Spectra Cruiser, check. Maggie Box, check. Hooper Doodle, check. I assume I can't open these chests and get stuff from them. Seems not. Knife. Cut, cut. So it's a living knife just sitting there. Knocked out. Are those skull dogs taken down by that knife? Fork stick. There. Windy, did you see anything you liked? I mean, I like a lot of this. I'm very into what's going on. But I'm gonna take this door first. Ooh, nice office. 
Is there anything in this office I can interact with? Yeah, capsule! RC! Vroom vroom! That's the sound he makes. Hunted by Miss This Nighty loves rolling under cars. Under chairs, rather. One more. I say I can keep going. I've been by ten of them. Buck Knight. Misguided spirit of true doom. Wanders down capri capriciously making friends. It does not know its own evil heart. That's sad. Oh no. Oh no. My game is frozen. Oh, there we go. Fake cat. Pretending to be a cat makes it feel happy. Who are we to judge? I mean, it's true. Diver. Yeah, it looks like a diver. Floats around inside the sunken city and gets lost, falling down deep chasms in the ground. That's not good. Big Doug. Leader of the Skullbugs. He always talks too loud. In his spare time, he paints oil portraits of himself. Fair. That's cool. Uh, Percival. An unhappy ghost who can remember his past lives. He plays video games to get a sense of relief. Same. Same. Nighty. Wandering knight who fights courageously for world peace. Good on you, Nighty. Clyde. An easygoing guy who steals horses. Always has something up his sleeve. Nice to meet you, Clive. Desk, ye Doug stops here. <laughs> nice. Corpse Pit. An animated corpse of a fictitious individual possessing an unhelpful, the unhelpful wisdom of the dead. Wow. Two more. Ball Ball. Oh, I already have Ball Ball. Flannel. Comes with sensors to detect more flannel. You're in to form a big heap somewhere. Okay, time to leave the area now. Got all of the capsules I wanted. What an interesting experience this has been. Okay, and now we're back out at the train station. And with that, I'm gonna call it an episode. I hope you enjoyed this very bizarre jaunt through a pretty unique world and setting. We beat a boss, got some gold, and collected a bunch of my capsules. So I hope you'll enjoy, you know, you enjoyed this, and we'll join you next time. Bye bye